again, welcome into Bon Appetit. Father's Day is a week away, or if you're seeing this during the week, it's this upcoming Sunday. What does Dad really like on Father's Day? How about a wonderful grilled steak? Yes. And we got here with us today Erin Beasley, and she's with the Alabama Cattlemen's Association. <laughs> and the website to get all the recipes we talk about, it's beef. It's what's for dinner dot com. You got it, Mr. Jack. That's, yeah, That's it. And today we're going to talk about steaks. Uh, nothing better for dad than a beautiful beef steak. Mm. All right. And we've got the king of the steaks today. We've got uh, a beef ribeye. Okay. Ah. Now you Ooh. can do this recipe. You can whatever dad, you know, his favorite ribeye, T-bone, porterhouse, mm -hmm. strip, whatever you want to do. But we've got ribeyes today. Will you teach? There's something that I would like you to teach us. Okay. Okay. First of all, there are grades of steak, yes. like select, choice, Angus, and the marbling. Just teach us how to pick out a really good sure. steak. Yeah, I'd be happy to. So, and the ribeye is a great one to teach on, okay? Because okay? okay. it does have a lot of great marbling. This ribeye is beautiful. It's got a uh, beautiful center here, and it's got this, this nice cap. This is the part that I always save for the dessert because it tastes like butter. It's so tender ah. and delicious. But when you're picking on a steak, you want to look for good color, so pretty cherry red color. And then as far as the grade goes, it'll be marked, but to give y'all a little insight, a USDA choice steak like we have today is one that has a, a, a nice amount of this marbling right okay. here. Okay. So these little white flakes, it's not this outer fat, right. okay? Mm -hmm. We trim okay. that off. It's this inner fat that, that is the marbling. So uh, that's what we're going to look want to look for. The more marbling you have, the better grade of beef you have. Mm -hmm. okay. That's why prime is the, the highest grade and costs the most. And then you have choice and then select. Okay. 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 Now, there's nothing wrong with select beef, okay? But it is going to be at a lo lower price point than your sure. choice product. Okay. So all we're going to do, this is a little different uh, than your traditional beef steak. We've actually got a barbecue rub to put on, okay. on this ribeye, which is going to have a lot of different flavors Ooh. going on. Uh, this marinade that, or rub that we've created, is um, it's got apple cider vinegar, Worcestershire, Ooh, brown sugar, okay. cumin, mm -hmm. and chili powder going Ooh. on, and some garlic. Apple cider vinegar is very good for Great you, Great combination. Yes. Yeah, and so all we're going to do, now we don't want to go too heavy on this. We don't want to, you know, take over the, the taste of the beef. So we're just going to pour some on, and kind of like we're, you know, if we were doing a brisket or some ribs or something, we're just going to go ahead and rub it, rub it on there. Again, I don't want to go too heavy on it, so I just have this little trick, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. I just go just like this. Couple of flips. Okay. Because you don't want to overshadow right. the, That's the right. taste oh, of that yeah. great yeah. beef. Exactly. Just enough to bring just out the to. flavor. And we're going to cook this on a medium-high grill, so about uh, 375 degrees or so. Okay. And be very careful now. Um, this does have the sugar content in it, mm -hmm, so and so it you could flame up and burn this spirit very easily. <laughs> uh, so just <laughs> be careful know. with that. And, um, you know, this is a nicely uh, one-inch thick cut steak. It wow. is going to take a little while, okay? Beautiful. But I would recommend cooking it to a medium rare as we have in our display steak here. And all we're going to do is take this and, and uh, put it on our, our grill mm. here. That one up. Oh, yeah, look at that. And it just so Whoops. happens That's beautiful. that I have one <laughs> right off the grill here. <laughs> oh, right, wow. Jay, we're going to put it right over here where that other steak Ooh. was not. Wow. And uh, that's a beautiful steak. Now, here's a trick, guys, for any steak grilling you do. We don't want to take it off the grill and start cutting into it right, right. now. Okay. It, okay. We've got to let, let it, it rest. Set. It needs to rest about five minutes, mm -hmm. especially with the thickness of steak that this is. And then, I, you know, I recommend just slicing it up pretty. Uh, the corn, summer corn is a great yes. side. Yes. Uh, we do peanut butter corn in my house. I know. Oh, big surprise. Oh, right. Big yeah. surprise, right? Uh, but th this is a great recipe. This is how you really treat dad. I know we'll be mm -hmm. doing this in, in my household. It's our first Father's Day to celebrate with my husband, so this That's is what right. we're going to have. Now, great. tell us why you let it rest five minutes. Okay, well, when it's on the heat, it's really got, the meat is really being impacted a lot by that heat. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you take it off by letting it rest, you let that temperature quit climbing so quickly. Okay. Okay, and what that does is it lets the juice just kind of redistribute. If we slice into the steak right now, you'd end up with juice all around the cutting That's board. Right. Well, I don't know about you, but I'd rather have that juice in the bite that I put Absolutely. in my mouth. So that, that's <laughs> why we let that do. Keeps and that moisture. It's the same thing if we were making roast or anything right. else. We mm -hmm. always want to let the meat rest for just a little bit and let those juices redistribute. Well, that's great. Okay. That is beautiful. And just remember all the recipes. Uh, it's beef. It's for it's it's what's for dinner. You got dot it. Com yeah. and you've got it. And this is Bon Appetit. We want to thank Aaron, and we'll be right back right after this. Thanks, and guys. Happy Father's Day. Happy yes, Father's indeed. Day. <laughs> 